And this is the rice cauliflower that I got from Aldi's for like a dollar and some change. Um, it is only 12 ounces, which I know a lot of recipes call for like two cups. So we're going to make it work. I only have one bag, but I'm still going to use the same uh, ingredients, one egg and one cup of Parmesan. And that's all that my easy cauliflower pizza crust is going to have. But we're going to take this, this is easier for me, into a, just a pan. Pour it in here. Trying to do this with one hand, not very smart. And so I realized a little bit into it that that pan was just too small. So I got a bigger pan so that it could all be in one layer. So I'm going to let this cook for about, I don't know, 5-10 minutes. Just so it's, a lot of that moisture can cook off and then I'm going to let it cool off. After 10 minutes, I am going to turn the heat off and let it sit for another 10 to 15 minutes. Just let it cool. So here, guys, we have the cooked cauliflower. Well, it, it did brown slightly, but that's okay. Um, we got a lot of that moisture out, but in order to get the rest of the moisture out, we're going to put it on a dish towel and we're going to wring it out. Sorry about the metal on the pan. And what I'm going to do, uh -oh, my whole setup there moved, <laughs> is it's a clean dish towel and we're just going to wring out any excess moisture. Let me do it on top of something. Oh, well, here's a paper plate. Handy and convenient. And look at all that excess moisture coming out. You want to get all that out, or so I've heard. Again, this is my first time making this, but I'm hoping it's yummy and scrumptious. I would say a good tablespoon of liquid just came out. Wow. It's really coming out. Because I want a nice, crispy crust. I don't like when it's soggy and it just won't stay together. All right, yum, brown cauliflower water. So we're gonna dump that out. And what we're gonna do is take our bowl. In my bowl, I have one egg. And I'm going to put in there one cup of Parmesan cheese. And then that cauliflower bowl, or well, I thought it was gonna be a bowl, but it clumped together nicely, as you can tell. We're gonna get all that in there, and we're gonna mix that up. I'm just getting in there with my hands and mixing it up. And this should form into a nice ball of dough. So I did add some garlic powder and some salt to the dough, just to flavor it. And this is what I got, a little mound. And I'm gonna press it down. And I might just keep it, I don't know, we'll see what shape it comes out. But I don't, I'm not going for a pizzeria quality here, you know. But I'll form it and we'll pop it in the oven. Remember, it was on 450 degrees. And typical recipes show about 15 minutes or so. And then we'll take it out and I'll put some toppings on it, like the sauce and uh, cheese. And I also have some mushrooms and we'll let that melt for another five minutes. And let's see how it comes out. So as you guys can see, I took it out of the oven and look, it's holding up. It's like a, a round crust. Ooh, what the hell was that? But anyway, um, and it's holding together. I'm so excited. So now what I'm going to do is top the pizza. I just have some marinara sauce. That's the only sauce I had actually um, from Aldi's. And that's a good marinara sauce because... There's seven grams of carbs, but two grams of fiber, so it's five grams of carbs for every half a cup. So I figure I might put, I don't know, about a half a cup on here to a cup, and then I'm going to put some fresh mozzarella that I have here, and we'll see how that looks at the end. Well, guys, I love the results. It turned out really good looking. Um, the edges are a little more brown than I would have liked, but you know what? 
It was in the oven 15 minutes, then I put the toppings on, and it was in maybe for five more minutes so the cheese could melt. I'll put it in the description box how it tastes. Thanks for watching. Three ingredients. You can't beat it.